Hi, I'm Dr. Sheila Reyes from the Philippines reporting for Room Now from ACR 2020. I'd like to share the findings of abstract number 0205, where they looked into the potential risk of methotrexate-induced long-term liver fibrosis using the Fibrosis 4 Index, or FIB4. This cross-sectional study enrolled 170 patients with established RA. 60% of these patients were treated with methotrexate. According to their findings, 71% of patients had a low FIB4 value of less than 1.45 and not significantly different between patients receiving methotrexate, those who were previously treated with methotrexate, and patients who were never treated with methotrexate. There was no correlation between FIB4 values and the cumulative dose of methotrexate. Also, the cumulative dose of methotrexate was not significantly higher in patients with a FIB4 index of more than 1.45. And no association was detected between the FIB4 index and parameters of disease activity like DAS, ESR, and CRP levels, as well as BMI, traditional cardiovascular risk factors, and the metabolic syndrome. The authors concluded that RA patients on long-term maintenance methotrexate have low FIB4 values, suggesting that methotrexate is not associated with an increased risk of advanced liver fibrosis. What does this tell us? Coming from a region where methotrexate continues to be a mainstay of treatment for RA, these results show the importance of stratifying our patients and doing close follow-up on those who are at risk of developing liver disease and that we can use the FIB4 index as a marker in this group of patients. Follow me on Twitter at Rumarampa and tune into Room Now for more videos and reports. Thank you.